a bit of late night shopping on ASOS and the damage is pretty bad. It came in a freaking box and that's how you know you've ordered too much. Not that I really needed any new bits and pieces. It was quite a lot of stuff. I ended up coming out with three of these. I bought a lot in the premise of returning whatever doesn't look right. I bought so much, I had to actually fork out a whole pound to replace the paper bags with one of these. Hi, my name's Tessa and I'm on a mission to stop climate change and save all life on our planet. So I don't really make videos like this critiquing other YouTubers, not really my thing, but there are some lifestyles and habits on YouTube that I disagree with and that I think are problematic, especially when millions of young kids are watching it and being influenced by it. Specifically, I'm talking about the trends I see on YouTube of consumerism and these huge hauls and redecorating your house with all these fancy things every single season buying from fast fashion and buying new cars and spending all this money. All of my purchases barely even fit into this basket. That's aggressive. A lot of YouTubers, they start when they're young and they make it big when they're young. They go from living with their parents to making millions of dollars in a matter of years sometimes. So they have all this disposable income that they don't know what to do with. So they go shopping naturally. They buy all this stuff because they can. In my opinion, if you make enough money to buy as much clothes and home decor as you want, I don't think that that means you should. Even if you can afford the monetary costs of material items, that doesn't mean someone somewhere else isn't paying for the other costs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the documentary True Cost. If you haven't seen it before, have you been living under a rock? That goes into the world of fashion and all the social and environmental costs of the fast fashion industry. And it's probably a lot worse than you think or know. Now, the first YouTuber that comes to my mind on this topic is Zoella or Zoe Sug. I used to watch Zoella all the time. Uh, I used to love watching her videos. I related to her. She's just a very likable person. But she uploads a lot of hauls. They're huge hauls. She goes on massive shopping sprees and it is to me just shocking like i don't understand how one person buys the amount of stuff that she buys and is okay with it because even if i didn't care about the ethical environmental side of it like having that much stuff would just stress me out like where would i put it all i don't know but the biggest problem with her huge hauls that she uploads all the time is that she has millions of young girl subscribers that watch her videos and get influenced to buy a ton of stuff and shop and buy all the things that she's buying and go out and shop and you know even I was affected by that someone who strives to live sustainably I would watch one of her videos where she hauls a ton of clothes and I would want to go out shopping after watching that and I would still buy a lot of stuff in my mind but it was okay because it wasn't as much as Zoella and that's a problem that's not how young girls should be influenced I don't think we should normalize this gluttonous materialistic shopping habits I don't think that that's normal even though I love Zoella as a person she's a sweet nice person as far as, far as I know from her videos that part of her videos the haul is just gross me out they're just gross it's just it's just too much and she gets these huge boxes from ASOS and Primark and unwraps it all and each item of clothing is wrapped in plastic and then she decides half of them don't fit or she doesn't like them anymore and so she returns them all which requires 
all new packaging and shipping and transportation and gas and greenhouse gases just to return it all and I I'm just kind of surprised she doesn't ever stop and think that this is a little much and I just don't understand how she doesn't know the environmental or even ethical impacts of her fast fashion shopping habits like She's a privileged white woman living in the UK. How do you not know these things? It's, I'm pretty sure it's widespread common knowledge these days of the terribleness of fast fashion. But in an effort to unnormalize this consumerism lifestyle on YouTube, I went ahead and I calculated CO2 equivalent emissions from Soa's hauls. I calculated the CO2 emissions for what is a bit older, titled Huge Summer Primark Haul, and it's from June 11, 2018. And when I was looking into her haul videos, almost all of them have the word huge at the beginning of it, which, again, just perpetuates and contributes to this gluttonous, consumeristic lifestyle of buying a ton of stuff and the more stuff you buy the better you feel and the better you look and it's it seems it almost seems like she has like a shopping addiction or something but again this is all just normalized in our modern society so when i search zoella huge haul on youtube let's let me see how many videos come up with those three words in the title of her own videos one two Oh my god. Yeah, this girl shops a lot. So, in her video, Huge Summer Primark Call from a couple years ago, I counted all the items that she bought in that haul, and there was a total of 95 items. And that's not just clothes, also jewelry and some random travel stuff and home decor stuff. 95 items. I don't think I've ever bought in even close to that amount of stuff in one shopping outing or online purchase. Can, can you imagine shopping online and having 95 things in your cart? Am I the only one that thinks this is crazy? Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! Like, have you ever had 95 items in your shopping cart online? I haven't. <sighs> That's a lot. That's a lot. A couple sources online said that an item of clothing uses about 10 kilograms of CO2. So, using that calculation, the total CO2 emissions from that huge haul was 780 kilograms of CO2. You're probably wondering, 95 times 10 is not 780. Well, I didn't include the jewelry and the random travel and home decor items that she bought because those weren't clothing and I don't know how much CO2 is emitted to make those items. So it's actually more. Okay, so what does 780 kilograms of CO2 mean? How can you quantify that? That is the equivalent of 1,930 mile road trip. That is the equivalent of driving from LA to New Orleans. That is crazy. To be able to produce the same amount of CO2 from a few clicks, well, 95, I guess, as driving from LA to New Orleans is scary. And uh, no wonder we have a climate change issue. I also calculated the amount of water it took to make all those clothing items, which is a lot. And one item of clothing is estimated to use 2,700 liters just to make one item of clothing. So for that shopping haul, it comes to 167 thousand four hundred liters of water which would be the equivalent of nine thousand seven hundred and thirty two showers i think like eight minute showers that's a lot of fucking water oh my god oh i'm sweating and it's not just because it's 90 degrees here i don't even know what to say i'm, I'm speechless 
I just don't know. Has nobody told Zoella that this is bad for the environment? <laughs> Do I need to call her up? Hey, Zoe. Uh, maybe shop at a thrift store next time you want to go shopping. So that's basically all I wanted to say on that topic. Let me know in the comments below if you've noticed this with either Zoe or other YouTubers and if this kind of thing bothers you. Yeah, I just felt that I wanted to put this out there into the world and share my opinion, share some science and some facts. And it just kind of sucks that our modern Western lifestyle is so out of sight, out of mind. And we get all of our goods and material items from across the world and have no idea how it's made or the conditions they're made in and the pollution that comes from it and the CO2 emissions and greenhouse gas emissions that come from all these things. Yeah, there really is a whole life cycle for each material good from mining the resources or farming the resources to manufacturing and production and sales and then to consumer and then ultimately landfills and every step of the way there's transportation in between each step and there's pollution and greenhouse gases being emitted across the entire life cycle and we really need to consider these things before we go out and do and purchase anything and there's just too many fucking people on this planet to live like we are now we need to change and i mean it is what it is thanks so much for watching my video today i hope you stay happy healthy and safe and i'll see you in my next video bye